Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel. So today I've got these super fun, bright nails to show you and they are Easter themed. So if you want to see how it's done, then just keep watching. So I'm using Madam Glam Gel Colours for this tutorial. They very kindly sent me a few gel polishes to use for these nail art designs. So thank you very much to them for sending me these. I'm using some really super bright colours and a few pastels as well. I wanted to keep it really summery and really springy. And yeah, super bright and super colourful and fresh. So these are all of the colours that I've used. Again, they're from Mandel Glam. I'll leave all links in the description box down below as to where you can find these and get your hands on them. They are super high pigmented, really good quality gel polishes. One of my favourite brands. As well as all of these Madam Glam gel polishes, I'm going to be using the new Dixie Plates Easter Stamping Plate. This is one of their new launches and it is jam packed full of super cute images like Easter eggs and bunnies. I absolutely love this plate. I'm also going to be using my Dixie Plates Clear duo diamond stamper and my dixie plates ombre brush i will also be using the magpie ombre brush they are slightly different and the magpie illustrator nail art brush for stamping polish i'm using born pretty number no. four which is their white so for the first design i'm using the gorgeous pastel green as my base color and then I'm going to cure that in my lamp for a full cure of 30 seconds. When that's come out of the lamp, I did wipe the tacky layer off of the gel so that it's really easy and smooth to go in with some nail art now. So I'm just decanting some of those polishes onto a little palette and I'm going in with my Magpie Illustrator brush and I'm randomly dragging these polishes on the nail. I'm not curing them, I'm leaving them all wet and I'm just going through colour by colour and dragging them onto the nail in random areas as you can see here the yellow has still not been cured it's still wet so they will slightly blend together so going through every single color adding a few different splodges all over the nail cleaning my brush off in between each color and once I've done that I'll be right back Please don't forget to check the description box down below. I do have a few discount codes for Madam Glam and Dixie Plates. So if you want to take advantage of those, please do. I don't make any money from those discount codes. They're purely for you guys to use and enjoy a little discount off your shopping. So you could always leave it like this, but I'm going to take my Magpie Ombre brush and drag the brush down the nail and it creates this awesome paint strokey, streaky, blended effect. It looks really awesome. You could just leave the nail plain like this. I cured that in my lamp for 30 seconds and then I've brought it out and wiped off the inhibition layer, the tacky layer, so that it is ready for stamping. So I'm just using this top right image here. You can see how well that picks up and how well etched these stamping plates are. They're fab. And I'm just stamping that directly down onto the nail. And look how cute those little Easter eggs are. Aren't they just gorgeous? And I feel like the colours in the background just go so beautifully with them. So I'm then adding a bit of sparkle because we could all do with a little bit more sparkle in our life and in our nail art designs. So I'm just going in with that polish, that Madame Glam gel polish and adding a little bit of sparkle to a couple of the areas of the Easter eggs just for that added touch. Once I've finished adding the glitter, I cured that in my lamp for 30 seconds, applied top coat and did the finish cure. And that design's all done. Super Eastery. Next design up is the ombre sunset rainbow kind of design. So I'm going in with all the polishes and I'm using them directly from the bottle and painting on a stripe about the same width as the brush along the nail. You can do different widths, you could add different colours, do whatever you would prefer but you're going to leave them wet and then I'm going to use my Dixie Plates ombre brush which is a lot softer than the Magpie one and I'm roughly blending the colours together. Now what I wanted this 
this to look like was slightly streaky I didn't want the colors to blend too much I want it to have messy lines going through it like this I think it creates a really nice arty effect and then I cured that in my lamp and then wiped off the inhibition layer ready for stamping. So for this design I thought it'd be really cute, add some clouds, I thought it looked really awesome, rainbow sky with some beautiful clouds and yeah this just finished off the design completely. I love the clouds on this stamping plate, I feel like I'm going to get tons of use out of them. Next design I'm going in with a layer of that pastel green colour and you can see how pigmented these Madame Glam gel colours are, they are honestly amazing. I cured that in my lamp and wiped off the inhibition layer and now I'm going in with a striper brush. This is just a cheap one that I bought from AliExpress, just use any striper brush you have and I'm going in one by one adding thin stripes of all of the gel colours that I've been using along the nail and I'm leaving them wet so I'm not curing them all. I'm going through every single colour and applying them diagonally across the nail and once I've done them all I will then repeat all the colours again. So once I've done that I'll be right back to talk you through the next step. Once you've finished applying all the stripes along the nail, you then need to clean your brush off and we're going to drag our brush through all those gel colours, but we're going to be doing it opposites. So drag the brush down, turn your brush around, then drag it up, then drag it down, so then you're left with this awesome design. It is really super easy to do and really effective, it gives a kind of a psychedelic tie-dye effect, I love this and this will be cool all year round. So onto the last design, we're going in with this beautiful purpley pink colour, it's stunning and super pigmented. And I'm now going in with all the random colours of gel polish and splodging them onto the nail horizontally this time, going across, I'm just using all of the colours again. I'm not curing in between so they are all still wet and I'm just whacking all the colours on in random places. There's no rhyme or reason, no pattern for this, I'm just getting all the colours onto the nail. After I've done that, I'm then going to go in with my ombre brush, similar to how we've done before, but this time it's horizontally. So using the magpie brush to swipe across the nail, backwards and forwards, the trick is not to do it too much because you don't want the colours to blend into a brown mess, you want it to stay pigmented and colourful. So then I cured that in my lamp and now I'm going in with this super cute image, it is little bunnies falling with parachutes through the air, how adorable is this, this oh, it's just so super cute, I love this, and of course got to add a little bit of sparkle, so going in with the little tiny detailer brush, again this is just from AliExpress, it's a super cheap set of nail art brushes, I'll leave them linked in the description box down below as to where you can find them. And I'm just going over the parachutes, adding a little bit of sparkle. Everything I've used in this tutorial, guys, will be linked in the description box down below. All of the Dixie plates, Madame Glam, brushes, all tips and tricks will be down in the description box down below. If you want to find any information out, do look there. So there you have it. There are all four designs completed. You don't have to do them all together on a set of nails. You could mix and match them. You could just do the gorgeous clouds with the rainbow sky. You could switch up the colours. You can really do anything you want with these. I absolutely love how these turned out. I think they're super fun and suitable for all year round. I can't wait to see any of your recreations. Don't forget to tag me on Instagram if you recreate any of these designs. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And until next time, bye!